I'm going to show you how to save your progress on the NES games on VizBoard. So the example I'm going to use is Zelda. This is where you'd actually paste in your save code that you might have saved and stored on VizBoard. And to actually retrieve that data, you got to actually click this link right here. Right now I'm going to say cancel. But if I click this, you'll see that this has text that I stored here already. And normally you just paste in your save code right here, or you could type in any passwords, like Mega Man has passwords, and there's a lot of NES games that have passwords that you can just save here, and then come back to it, and it'll still be stored here forever. So, Zelda has battery backup, so this will save games differently. This doesn't use passwords. Just gonna make an account real quick. Now normally on Zelda you can only save after you die, but there's a cheat code that allows you to save anywhere. By doing this, you just press the enter, and then using the num keys, press 7 and 8 at the same time, and then you can access the save screen. Now to get your save code, press F10, and just press control and then C to copy it, and then say OK. Now, I'm going to close the game and load it back up. Now if I paste that in, you'll see that there's my save file right there. I know it's showing me here, but I would have all the items I had when I saved. Also, it would be a good idea to save that right here. So I just paste that in there. It's a lot of random letters and numbers. And just say save. Now I'm going to show you an example with using passwords. And the example I'm going to use is Mega Man 3. So I'm going to find the game real quick and load the game up. Also note that when I load the game up, it's not going to ask me for a passcode like it did on Zelda. Usually the games that originally had battery backup are going to have a little box that pops up that rec that wants you to type in your code. And just because it has that box that comes up doesn't mean the game originally had battery backup. I'm not sure why some games do that, but you'll know the ones that do have battery backup will always have that box pop up. So, by clicking save game data, this is where you can retrieve or store your passwords. And then you can save them, of course. And you can just put the boxes side by side if you're loading your password. And then you, based on your password stored over here, you can just type in your password in the game. And like I said, there are quite a few NES games that do use passwords, but there's very few that use battery backup.